Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm uh, Tamara Jeremic. This is my first solo exhibition. In this uh, gallery, uh, space is uh, separated. So our moving through this exhibition it starts in one empty room where we only have a mirror which uh, shows us direction to the, to the end of the exhibition. So here we have a sculpture that presents some kind of cramp or uh, contraction, so uncomfortable state of being. And uh, here we have uh, one very nice, very relaxed uh, meditation posture and uh, it presents maybe ego, maybe our, uh, our present moment, actually my present moment. And uh, this lotus here, it, is, uh, it belongs to both spaces, both uh, totalities. And uh, lotus is important for me because uh, I took its, its uh, symbolical sense from the Indian uh, and Buddhistic uh, mythology and uh, culture. This bright room is, uh, is here to explain my intimate vision of, um, of these symbols that I use. So this uh, drawing, for example, uh, the feather of a peacock. Uh, the peacock is symbol of uh, God, Kama, in uh, Indian mythology. And it, uh, it's connected with love and uh, with uh, romantic feeling. sculpture that looks like uh, it's tough but actually it is very very soft it's uh, sensitive and uh, light made of um, cut uh, mirrors and some some material some plastic material that um, is transparent and uh, it is uh, it is again taken from from indian Culture. It is. Uh, it presents uh, Shiva, the god of dance, and uh, uh, it is important that we can see many, many pieces of ourselves in him, in his uh, body. This couple here is uh, made of uh, very soft materials. This one doesn't have bones, this one has. See. And uh, it is uh, here we have this contrast between material and visible and uh, this uh, tough inside, which is opposite from Shiva. And it is uh, again the story of Lotus that I mentioned uh, about symbolic meaning and uh, uh, very big symbol and I wanted to make it bigger and uh, to compare it with the size of human body that uh, maybe we can uh, go out from it and uh, born from this kind of uh, magic, magic object. This uh, work I call it, sometimes I call it octopus, sometimes I call it hobo, like cut a word from octopus, because uh, I uh, just uh, 
wanted to make something uh, that is natural form, but uh, it's not a precisely plant or animal. It depends on setting. And it is coupled with this, this flower here. And there is uh, one more uh, small sculpture. Uh, it is a strail, like a little mutant between finger and a straight direction and snail. So he passed whole exhibition before uh, every, everybody else and he left uh, a little silver trace behind him and uh, he is in, uh, in one corner, in the last corner of uh, exhibition. Mm -hmm.